In this video, we're going to evaluate the integral of 2x over x squared plus 6x plus 13. Now, the integrand is a rational expression, but the denominator doesn't factor. So that eliminates partial fractions. Let's look at a u substitution. What if I let u equal to x squared plus 6x plus 13? dq then would equal to 2x plus 6. Now we'd be in business if instead of a 2x in the numerator, we had a 2x plus 6. This would be dx here. So let's, let's do this. We'll put a plus 6 here. And that's legal as long as you subtract 6. Because 6 minus 6 gives us 0. We get the same thing back. So let's try this then. We're going to break this up into two integrals. The 2x plus, plus 6 will stay together. So we got 2x plus 6. And that's going to be over x squared plus 6x plus 13. This will be a dx here. Then I'll have a minus. There's a minus 6 here. I'll write it this way. This will be x squared. I've got x squared plus 6x plus 13. I've got a dx here. That's the same integral. If I recombine these integrals, I get the given integral of 2x over x squared plus 6x plus 13. Now the first one, I already got to set up. This is equal to the integral of, and then the x squared plus 6x plus 13 in the denominator, that's going to be u. And then the 2x plus 6 dx, this product here in the numerator, is right here. That's your du. And that, of course, can be easily integrated using the formula for the uh, natural log of u. It gives you the natural log of u. Now, over here, for this one here, what I'll do is I'm going to complete the square on this. So I'm going to break the, the 13 here into 9 plus 4. And then in the next step here, I'm going to make this a minus the integral of, so I'm breaking this down here. This will be a 6 here, dx. And so x squared, x squared plus 6x plus 9, that's a perfect square, trinomial. Factors into x plus 3, x times x plus 3, or write that as x plus 3 quantity squared plus the 4. Now I've got a formula. So this one, the first one here, no, no problem. I've got a formula. It looks like this. If you have du or 1 du over, say, something like u squared plus a squared, where u is a function of x and a is a constant, so this formula tells us that the integral of anything that looks like this in this form, du over u squared plus a squared, is equal to tangent inverse, or you can use arctangent. So it's tangent inverse of u, that would be a function of x over the a. And then the coefficient here will be 1 over whatever a is. I got this plus the constant of integration. Now in our case, the u is going to be, once I write it in this form here, if I complete the square here, the u will be x plus 3, and the a would be 2, because 4 is 2 squared, so the a would be 2. Now we're set. Got my setup here, so let me just clear this here. So this is going to equal to, from this first one here then, the integral of du over u is a formula for that one. Once you have it set up this way, it's the natural log of the absolute value of u. But in our case, for this for this first integral, u is x squared plus 6x plus 13. So I'll put x squared here plus 6x plus 13. 
So again, we're going from this step here to the final setup right there. And then for this one here, I could factor out the six here. So this would be minus six. And then this would just be a one. They didn't go. So then it would look just like this. So again, in this setup, then the x plus three would represent the u and the a would represent the, the two. Square root of four is two. So this would be then minus six coefficients. In our case, this would be a coefficient of minus six and it's divided by the a. So this would be a two here over two. And then this would be tangent inverse or arc tangent if you want. And that would be u over a. In our case, u would be x plus three. u is x plus three and the a would be two. And this is plus the constant of integration. And then we can go ahead and do the division here, six divided by two, here's a three. So we have the final answer then. Natural log of absolute value of x squared plus six x plus 13, and then minus three tangent inverse of x plus three over two plus the constant of integration. We wind up using a u substitution in the first integral when we broke this up into two and we wind up using the formula for tangent inverse that gives you tangent inverse right here a u over a multiplied by one over a so final answer here thanks for watching we'll see you next time